And a happy spring training, Dodgers Nation. Doug McCain here. You can follow me on Twitter and Instagram at DMAC underscore LA. We've got some Dodgers news to get into. LA brings back Jimmy Nelson. They're interested in signing Zach Britton. We got a Blake Trinan update. But first, if you haven't yet, be sure to subscribe to the Dodgers Nation YouTube channel for all latest Dodgers news all season long. Be sure to hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell. And if you really want to support the channel, smash that like button. And as always, I want your takes down below in the comments section today's Dodgers Nation question of the day do you like the idea of signing Zach Britton should LA sign Zach Britton do you think they're going to get something from Jimmy Nelson I want all your takes on that and will Blake try and pitch again this year I want all your latest Dodger takes on these topics down below and for all latest Dodgers news head over to DodgersNation.com we've got the latest Dodgers news to get into so let's get right into it the Dodgers are bringing back Jimmy Nelson hopefully the four time will be a charm for the oft injured reliever. LA re-signed Nelson to a one year $1.2 million contract for the 2023 season that includes incentives that could take it up to $4 million. Now Nelson is still trying to work his way back from having Tommy John surgery and flexor tendon repair back in 2021 and this is what we've seen from the Dodgers and Nelson. You've always seen these incentives included in his contract. He fell 12 games short of a $250,000 bonus back in 2021 and he's been very effective when he's been on the mound for LA when the Dodgers last saw him in 2021 he was outstanding he posted a 186 ERA a 189 FIB a 215 expected ERA had a 38% strikeout rate and opponents slashed just 143 270 and 184 so he was very effective he was lights out he was nasty and he also benefited from some high spin rates so not saying he was a sticky stuff merchant, but those spin rates were very high. So we'll see how he looks post the sticky stuff crackdown. And hopefully he can get healthy because he's dealt with a slew of injuries. Since the end of the 2017 season, he's pitched a total of 51 innings in the big leagues. And due to surgeries on his back, shoulder, and elbow, he's missed the entirety of three of the last five seasons. He's been treated like a game of operation. You pretty much have his mail sent to the IL because he practiced lives there but hopefully things turn around for Jimmy Nelson and he can get healthy and stay healthy and have some role on this team now yesterday Fabian our die of the athletic he reported that Jimmy Nelson does have a locker in the Dodgers clubhouse so hopefully he can get it going and work his way back now there is no timetable for his return as of yet but hopefully at some point this season now some other news when it comes to the Dodgers injuries well they did transfer some guys to that 60 day I some guys that I told you last week would be ultimately transferred as the Dodgers. They tweet out the Los Angeles Dodgers have signed right-handed pitchers Alex Reyes and Jimmy Nelson as well as outfielder David Peralta to major league contracts and transferred right-handed pitchers Walker Bueller, J.P. Fireisen, and Blake Trinan to the 60-day injured list. So no surprise there. The only question is, will any of those three Dodgers have an impact for L.A. in 2023? Because we know that Walker Bueller most likely is going to miss the entire 2023 season. There is some hope that maybe he can come back towards the end. Maybe you see him as a multi-inning bullpen piece in the postseason. I think that would be the best case scenario if he regains his strength, regains that electric four-seam fastball. Hopefully he can have a role. That would be outstanding. If anyone can do it, it's Walker Bueller. And then there's J.P. Fireisen. And I'm very excited about the Fireisen pickup. The Dodgers, they traded minor league pitcher Jeff Belch for Fireisen in late last year and I think this is going to look like a long-term chess move that's going to prove successful. I think he's going to be a steal for LA. Last year before he underwent shoulder surgery he was outstanding. He posted a 0.0 ERA, a 1.67 FIP in 24 and a third innings pitch. Had one of the most effective four-seam fastballs in the game. Throws that four-seam slider and change-up combination and do a little rewind here. Fire Eisen was included in the deal that sent Willie Adon is to the Milwaukee Brewers and after that trade he was fantastic allowing just 15 runs 10 earned striking out 58 batters in 56 appearances after that trade now Dodger fans you are going to have to be patient Fire Eisen isn't expected to be back anytime soon he underwent successful shoulder surgery last year in a procedure that was described as a general 
cleanup of their rotator cuff and labrum. So he's not expected to throw for about four months, and it's going to take a couple months on top of that just to get him built up and get that strength back. But when he's back, I absolutely expect him to be a weapon. And I caught up with J.P. Fire Eisen at Dodgers Fan Fest, and I asked him about the difference between being a Dodger and a Tampa Bay Ray and what it's going to be like to join this organization and learn from this esteemed elite coaching and development staff that the Dodgers have. And here's what he had to say. JP, welcome to LA. How does this compare to Tampa Bay as far as the fans? I mean, you see it's electric out here, so many fans. What's the difference? Uh, there's a big, big difference. Uh, I, I love Tampa Bay, but uh, obviously uh, LA is, is a, a different scene and, and a lot more uh, bigger community and, and city. So uh, it's been awesome. I mean, you hear them cheering for Julio and all these guys. It's, 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 it's really, it's really cool to have this many people show up for a fan fest. Yeah, and we know the reputation the Dodgers have as far as coaching development. But what have you heard from them and just starting here? Uh, I mean, just from the guys, really, everyone's been like, you're going to love it here. It's awesome. Um, they do things differently here. And, and it, it's, I'm just excited to get to get to know everybody and start working with people and, and uh, changing some things or making, making myself better and making the team better. All right, thanks, JP. And the good thing is that this is a true long play by the Dodgers. He's under team control for multiple years, so it's not like a Tommy Canely situation where you need him to be good for just that one year. And Canely, he was filthy at times when he returned, but ultimately there, pitching on that back-to-back -back in Game 4 in the NLDS really was the beginning of the end when he didn't have it. So if it doesn't work out this year for Fire Eisen, they still have him in their system for multiple years. And I look for him to be a real weapon, as I said. And then there's Blake Trident. So we know Blake Blake Trinan, he underwent shoulder surgery. He was trying to rehab it during the season, got the PRP shot, but unfortunately, back in November of last year, he did undergo surgery to repair his right labrum and rotator cuff, and the thought was that he was going to miss the entire season. Well, he told reporters yesterday, I feel like I should be able to come back this year at some point. I think it's a very real possibility. It'd be really kind of a gut punch to me if I wasn't able to, and that is from Jack Harris of the LA Times. So that is an encouraging quote from Blake Trinan, but this is the same guy that thought that he could avoid surgery last year and ultimately he had to. So I think when it comes to Blake Trinan, you have to view it as a pleasant surprise. If he does return, you can't expect it because last year he came back and he wasn't the same pitcher. Remember, he gave the home run to Cronenworth there in game two. Wasn't the effective lights out reliever, the Dodgers' best high leverage arm that we saw in 2021. So I do think the chances of Blake pitching in 2023 are bleak, but if he does, he would provide a major boost to this Dodgers pen heading into the postseason. And speaking of bullpen arms the Dodgers could add, LA was reportedly one of six teams that were in attendance in Florida at Zach Britton's showcase. Ken Rosenthal tweeted, teams that scouted free agent reliever Zach Britton during his throwing session today in Florida per source. Giants, Angels, Mets, Dodgers, Cubs, and Rangers. So Zach Britton, of course, has dealt with injuries. Back in September of 2021, he underwent Tommy John surgery along with removal of bone chips in his pitching elbow. And he's been limited to just 25 appearances over the last two seasons. And his 2022 season ended in October. October due to shoulder fatigue. So he was once one of the best closers in the game, that sinker, inducing so much soft contact, so many ground ball outs, but he has had a pretty precipitous decline, and a lot of that is due to injuries. Now, if he can get healthy, he could absolutely help teams out there. If he could return to form, even at age 35, there will be teams looking to sign him, and if you're the Dodgers, you're always going to be a potential destination for a pitcher trying to get his career back on track. If he lands with the Dodgers, he'll most likely land on his feet. The only question is, do the Dodgers feel good about where he is physically? Because we know when it comes to a bullpen role, the Dodgers, you do have Alex Vesia, but you have plenty of left-handers that you can trust. I mean, you got a Victor Gonzalez, you got a Caleb Ferguson. If Zach Britton is right, he's a lefty that you could trust in that role. And I still have a lot of confidence in Alex Vesia, and I firmly believe he is going to be one of the Dodgers' 
top high leverage lefties out of the pen just like he was last year but Zach Britton is very intriguing because he was one of the best in the game at one point and if there's any organization that can get him right it's the Dodgers they can also get him on the cheap just look at what they signed Alex Reyes for you could get Zach Britton on the cheap the Dodgers can hopefully sprinkle that Dodgers does Mark Pryor can get in the lab and get to work and then hopefully you can get him to return to form but also yes the Dodgers they have turned a lot of pitchers careers around but they're not miracle workers right they're not God I mean they couldn't do it with Danny Duffy they couldn't do it with Cole Hamels and the reason why is because they were injured they couldn't get right from a health standpoint and is that the case with Zach Britton because if he does have a clean bill of health and it's just about ramping him up and getting him back on track I think it's a very intriguing possibility for the Dodgers that I would consider now will LA ultimately sign him the competition is stiff you don't know how much they love him but at whatever price he's going to command the fact that the Dodgers have already made it very clear they're not going to try to stay under that CBT that's going to be a drop in the bucket so it's going to be another no risk high reward deal for the Dodgers that maybe they would want to consider because last year when you consider the injuries when you consider the fact that bullpen pieces are volatile from year to year it does make sense to bring in some more reinforcements if you think they can have an impact but let me know down below in the comment section do you want to see the Dodgers sign Zach Britton do you think he's washed do you think he can get back to being the high leverage elite reliever that he once was I want all your takes down below my name is Doug McCain you can follow me on Twitter and Instagram at dmac underscore LA for all latest Dodgers news and rumors all season long be sure to hit that subscribe button hit that notification bell and if you want to see us post even more Dodgers content smash that like button and as always think blue bleed blue and I'm out Thank <laughs> you.